thanks for joining me again. So it's been such a spoil, but um, I'll just show you my palettes. Got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, these are in crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, and light red. And I thought I'd do somewhere in the lake district. This one's Buttermere. Um, so I've got 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. And I'm going to give it a good soaking because I want to create a sort of misty, misty hills in the distance. This is the large run round tonight. I'm going to start off with um, a touch of raw sienna, raw sienna, lizard and crimson. I'm going to go a mix of ultramarine and pines grey. Brush that in. And I'm going to go all the colours mixed together. Take some mist, mist away, yeah. Because I just want to get back into those same colours again. And then put another last sort of layer. Tell you what I did forget to do, I forgot to put the reflections in as I was going along. I might have I got time. Just about got enough time to do them. Bit of mist on the water there. And then there's a bit of a bit of a tree line on that far side, so I'm just going. I ain't cleaning the brush. Just uh, Payne's grey, lemon yellow, and then just find your where your water line is, and then just. Reflections down. Spin off a bit more like that. Put the reflections in. Just looking where the uh, the trees are on the far side again. I think there's some more over there. And again, up in the reflections. Paper stretched a bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight, refix it on this right hand side. We'll be ready to go again. So, just checking to see if there's anything else on that distance shoreline I can put. I don't think there is now. I'm fairly happy with that. So, I'm just going to grab the uh, air dryer and give it a quick glance.
and then not until the paper is dry do you start messing about taking off those bits of tissue that have stuck to the paper. You could even leave them on if you want, it doesn't really matter. But don't try and do it while it's wet. You'll make a right mess. So I'll do it for that. Now, also on that far side, some trees. But I want a dry brush for this, so I'm cleaning the brush. And then I'm just going to give it a quick dry on the uh, on the uh, tea towel. And then go into a dark, sort of lemon yellow, Payne's grey. That sort of dark, dark greeny colour. And then I'm just going to put these tree tops in. The uh, same colour with the um, rigger, nice and dark. And then just put the um, hang on a minute, I've got the reflections again. While you go on the brush, just pull down just roughly about where they obviously take those as your centre part point and then just put them roughly somewhere underneath. Switch to the rigger, same colours, nice and dark, and then just pull your little, pull your tree trunks up. Don't forget the reflections. It doesn't have to be exact, as long as it's there or thereabouts, it doesn't really make any difference. Something like that. Gives a general impression of, um, of a reflection. Now I'm just going to stick a bit of, a bit of land. And just raw sienna, ultramarine, just give it a quick, quick sweep. Just in all your dark colours. piece of card that you can use to wreck your rocks and obviously these distant ones are going to be a bit small and then and they get slightly bigger as they come towards us Try not to go over the top, it is it's so it's so easy to get too mad with this. And you can always just flick up and do a few a few grasses. Or do them with the rigger if you want, it's up to you. I think that's uh, just about done. I'm just wondering whether to put a little 
a little boat on the horizon going, I think I will. Why not? I'll just give that a quick dry first. So I'll go and put me tail of the hand in it and just make the right now. Always get your finger and just. Hmm. You see these little dark areas under the stones? Just, just pull them out if you want. Don't know what it does, just. So what I'm going to do, I'm looking for the darkest points on the horizon so I'll get the maximum contrast with the white sails. Now this is sticking out like a sore thumb to me. It's also off sense, you don't want your, a focal point slap bang in the middle of your painting, it'll just look stupid. So I'm just taking the, um, the rigger, rigger brush. I'm just taking the excess water off on the towel. And then I've got a tissue in the other end. Get a clean piece. And I'm just going to take out, just carefully take out the shape of the sail. And then, don't forget the reflection underneath. Reflection doesn't have to be as, as prominent as the uh, the sail itself, as long as there's something there. And then you can always stick. A couple of birds, two or three birds in the sky. Add a bit of life. Bit of extra life to it, and then down in this corner, pop your signature. And that's another one. That's another one. Just a simple impression of um, Buttermead in the uh, English Lake District. I hope you like that. I hope it was worth the wait. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.